Alright everybody, welcome to the next Brow Edit tutorial. We're looking at tutorial number sorry, 21. So cleaning up shadows along walls and your ground level terrain. So what, I, what do I mean by this? So if you see a particular kind of shadow drop at the edge of a map or a lifted platform such as a wall, are you satisfied with that? Are you satisfied with the way it looks? And there are different ways, different kinds of border control in your map you could use using specific kinds of textures to see how those light maps, or in this case the shadows, render. And these are the three types of border control. You have your no draw zone, as you can see it's just a yellow box around here, meaning there's no texture, just no textured zones at the very edge of your map. Next one we have is a magenta transparent texture, which I'll show uh, you guys how to get that. And then finally, what if we added a black, it's just black, I've just had the rendering on, but a, a black uh, border texture around your map. So this is with your ground area and this little uh, I guess object area is your is your heightened area, your your walls. As you can see tiny little walls on the side. So again, we have those three cases and then we have two separate uh, two separate sets of these cases where the first case is with colored light maps versus non-colored light maps. So you're looking at your like a yellowish tinted uh, rendering on your on your ground versus just basic transparent like the light maps have no color set to them except for white or transparent okay so how does that look like in game so let's start with the first one as you can see this is the colored light maps on a ground level and this is with uh, no draw zones okay so as you can see we do have this shadowy look casting at the very edge of our map only on the north and the east side, the south and the west are completely like it's there's no sh uh, faded out area. So you can see there's a fade area for the shadow. Okay, so how does that look on your object? So this is with no draw zones. You can see shadows are forming okay again uh, in the uh, south and west area, and as you can see, the east is looking kind of weird. The north is pretty dark, so you can see there's some trouble there. Okay, let's go to the next one. So that's with no draw. This is with a magenta, a transparent background. So you can see immediately that the faded out areas are gone. Okay, so those are completely gone. So you have a, just a very clean finish on the edge of your map. And if we looked on the heightened area, you could see that all the shadows across are forming quite nicely. There's no darkened area, so the shadows are all done there. All right, so that's magenta. So what if we did the black? So as you can see, because we're using a colored light map, you you will see the color project itself on the black texture. O of course, you won't see it on the next texture over because it's just a no-draw zone. Okay, so that's I guess it's your opinion, but it's your, it could be a disadvantage or it could be an advantage, whatever. And I guess what you can also also notice that there's no faded out areas. So this is actually identical as if you had a magenta background, but you wouldn't see this brownish area. So how does that affect your heightened area? same case, just like the magenta, your shadows are performing nicely across the very edge as they cast off the wall, but again you have your browned area because of the light maps, as, since they're all colored. Okay. Finally, I guess that was it. <laughs> so again, so black, uh, magenta, and no draw. Okay, let's go over to the next sets. So now we're going to look at, at uh, colored free areas, so no color. Let's keep going up. All right, so here we go. No draw. Again, faded out areas, no color. That's what you get. North and your east. So um, next, as you can see, the shadows are very. You can't even see them. The shadows are completely darkened on as, as it casts off the side of your east, uh, the east side of the of the heightened area. So people wouldn't really like to see that. It's not as clean. And again, this is with a no-draw zone. So you can see there's no shadows forming nicely there, no shadows forming nicely there. It's just black. So I don't think that's really attractive, but that's your call. So this was no-draw zones, no color. Now we're at magenta. So again, just like in the colored zone, magenta does not have faded zones. So it's just a clean, crisp finish. Everything is what is is brightened up until the until the very edge of the map. And then once we go to the heightened area, shadows are forming in the in the uh, south direction, east, north, and west. So
so all your shadows are looking just fine. Okay, and that's with a, a magenta transparent color. And then lastly, we have our black texture. Now you will obviously not notice the black texture because there's no color light maps. It's just transparent white. So this is fine. And you will also notice that there's no faded areas. Okay? Faded areas only appear with no draw zones at the very edge of the map. So this is just as if you had a purple magenta transparent color. Again, heightened area looks exactly like the purple magenta colored areas, the texture that we used. So there's no difference. The only fallback is that using a black board, a black board te texture will not uh, suffice for colored light maps. So all in all, whenever you're designing a map, in my opinion, I always stick with a purple magenta. But if you prefer a faded cast off area, as you can see at the top of this particular map, let's see if I just froze there. So you can see there's a like a faded area. Just stick with no draw zones. But again, you will suffer your shadows across an object, as you can see on the left side here. All right. So those are the three different methods of uh, controlling how your light maps will cast off a wall or a gr or a ground area, and how you can control those shadows. And that's about it. All right. So take care, guys. Hope you learned a lot from this, and I'll see you guys next time.